What is up everybody, Garden State Aviation here, back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing this model that I got in a trade with my friend Aviation MD in Maryland. Without further ado, let's get started. So before we uh, take a look at the model, let's take a look at the box. This is just a standard Gemini Max box. We have the type of aircraft, clip out of the aircraft, uh, the Air Force Base, which it's for, which is Stuart, uh, Gemini Max... Here we have the flap, which I'll pause the video for you guys to read. And there you guys have the flap. And continuing taking a look at the model, we have this sort of, um, I don't know what you call it, this like sort of metal -y design all around the box. And on the side, it's just standard Gemini Max, uh, like this. And taking a look at the back of the model, like I said before, it's standard Gemini Max, you have as it gets, etc, etc. And this is a 2015 release. So now, let's unbox the model, now that we've taken a look at the box. And here, we have the model. Now, let's head on to the detail segment for this model. Starting off with the segment for this Gemini Max model, we have the cockpit windows, we have a little viewing window below here, the registration of the aircraft, which is, uh, or the last four digits of the registration, which is 0188, we have the words 105th AW, which is supposed to mean the 105th Air Wing, forward landing gear, the words US Air Force, and here we have this little design, which is supposed to represent New York State, which is where this aircraft is based out of, uh, Stuart AFB is obviously New York. We have a personnel door, and continuing on on the aircraft, we have a little personnel door here, and on the landing gear bay doors, where the main landing gear is, we have the words New York Air Guard. Moving on on the aircraft, we have another personnel door, and we have the little USAF emblem. And of course, on the tail of the aircraft, it's just a standard C-17, as per every Air Force Base, you have the tail flash, the words ANG, the American flag, uh, and the registration of the aircraft, which is 10188. And the other side of this aircraft is obviously the same as the left side. The right is the same as the left. And of course, here on the tail, we have this little tail beacon, which actually is a little bit reflective because it's actually a gem, or not gem, probably most likely a piece of plastic that Gemini Jets put in there. And taking a look at the bottom of the aircraft, uh, we just have the landing gear, Gemini Jets logo, and we have uh, these little back bay doors, which open like this and close like this. But uh, yeah, besides that, that really is all there is to the model, besides is the USAF, uh, the word USAF and the USAF emblem on the top of the wings. But uh, yeah, now that really is all there is to this model. The reason I got this model is because on top of building EWR, I'm also building Stewart, uh, not only the Air Force Base, uh, but I also want to build the International Airport there at Stewart, uh, which is why, from as an example, NG, I pre-ordered the North Atlantic. Uh, if a player on the 21 came comes out, I'll order that. That's why I got the Clitus 742, is because, obviously, uh, that's an aircraft that flies daily to Stewart. But yeah, that's the reason why I got this model. And with that, that being said, that does conclude this video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, and turn the notification bell so you my videos. And comment down below if you like this video format and if you want more like this. Once again, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, goodbye.